Welcome back to Powerhouse. This is Rob Novak with Homestar Iowa, and he's here today to help the homeowner take a deeper look at some energy concerns. Rob, tell us what you're going to do today that's different than a traditional home energy audit. Sure, we're going to use some specialized equipment like a blower door to track air movements in a house. We're also going to use an infrared camera to pinpoint those leaks and we're going to test the combustion appliances to make sure they're operating safely. Now, Rob, I know you got some equipment to set up inside. Jill's waiting. We're going to get out of your way and let you get started. Okay. So, Jill, with the uh, blower door hooked up, we're actually simulating a 20-mile-an-hour wind on your house. And so we're going to use an infrared camera to walk around and find out where the leaks are. Okay. There's one right here. You can see we can use a little smoke and the air is just pouring in yeah. um, and that, that's real typical on an outlet on an out, outside wall like that and also around the windows um, I remember you mentioned sometimes when you're on the couch you can feel uh, some air coming yeah. in and we can see it rolling in right there so uh, that, that could be as simple as just talking around the trim we can see there's definitely some air leaking in here. You can even feel it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I really feel it. Lots of air leaks on top. These should be fairly easy places to fix uh, with some caulk just around the trim. Okay. Uh, let's go look upstairs. Oh, it feels like the windows are open. Yeah, you can really feel the air movement oh here. Oh my gosh. Were these doors open? No. No, they weren't. Yeah, there's a lot of air movement back here. Just like having a window open. <laughs> See this? This is uh, this is basically an attic area, and so you would want this sealed off. Wow! Yeah, look at this. This is another spot. I mean, you can see the blue. That's cold air, and when it flares out like that, that's air movement. And so we can we can see a lot of. Oh air wow! Air. It's just like whipping through. This should be fairly easy to fix, though. Um, we can use some spray foam, um, and you should still be able to use this for storage. So um, it should make a big difference in here. Rob, looks like you're about finished. What did you find? Yeah, we found some typical air leaks in the house uh, around the outlets and the windows uh, on the main floor. Upstairs, we found some major issues uh, as far as air leakage goes in the bedroom. And uh, all the leaks added up together equal about a 12 square foot hole in the side of your house. Wow. Now your energy assessment takes in the major energy users like the water heater and the furnace, right? That's correct. Yeah, when you're sealing up a house, you want to make sure you do it safely. Uh, we're going to be checking the draft on the combustion appliances before and after we seal it up. Uh, we're also going to be checking carbon monoxide levels, make sure the equipment's running efficiently. Well, thank you so much for all of your work. And it looks like we have a list of a lot of things to do. Yeah, Jill, it looks like now we need to sit down and really look at that list and decide which ones we want to tackle. Okay. So this is the list we're working with. We need to stop the leaks, you know, the air leaks of the air going in and out of your home. We can do that by caulking around the windows and the outlets. It looks like we also should weatherize around the back door to the patio as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and add foam in the basement where they noted and plastic around those basement windows. You know, Jill, the, the big thing here, we want to reduce the overall leakage of the entire home. That's right. Now we've got some things to get at the store, so why don't I go do that and you guys can get started on the smaller things. Sounds like a plan. Jill, stopping the air infiltration at this outlet is really pretty easy. All we need is some, some caulk and uh, one of the foam gaskets we're going to put on back here and, of course, a, a screwdriver. Now, you're saying this is the only outlet they have on an outside wall? On the main floor, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're going to take that off and we're going to put caulk around the outside of the electrical box. All right, Jill, I've got this side done. Do you want to go ahead and caulk in on this one? Sure. So, Jill, we just take the foam gasket and we're going to put it right on with the uh, outlet cover then. And, Jill, that's going to stop that area infiltration on that exterior wall. Okay, great. We've got one checked off. Uh, let's go do those uh, sealants around the windows next, okay? This is one of the areas they pointed out during the audit that we really need to seal up. Well, we can do that pretty simply, Jill. A little, little caulk and put a bead down and then run the finger down and we'll take care of that.
Jill, I think we really finished up those cracks nicely. I'm back. Okay, I got some stuff for the downstairs windows, and this is so we can weatherize the door here. Great. While you guys get ready to finish up the weatherizing, why don't you take a break, and I'll get ready to fix those basement windows. Stay with us. Okay.